On Something to Talk About, we meet two UOG students launching an educational campaign that can save your child from a crime that may be committed in the room next door right now. Project Foresight could spare your child from public humiliation and exploitation if you know what to look for. That's today on Something to Talk About. about thank you for joining us again uh, we have a wonderful spread at Kings and Jumuning and I am happy to have some wonderful guests with me they're from the University of Guam's Masters uh, in Public Administration program and they're here to talk about a, an interesting campaign that comes up about this time every year anyway I'd like to introduce you to Lieutenant Manny Chong and to Rachel Flores and they're both representing a uh, project foresight thank you guys for coming in I appreciate it. Oh, you know, you, you can help us. yourself to any of this lumpia anytime you oh, want to. Sure, yeah. sure, no problem. We like to get people while they're in mid-chew. <laughs> <laughs> but um, talk to me about Project uh, Foresight. What is exactly? Okay, uh, Project Foresight is an education and awareness campaign. Uh, it's a collaboration of our class, the uh, 2016 UOG MPA students and uh, our stakeholders. And mm -hmm. what our project is, is to address the uh, issue of sexting and you know, it's uh, associated crimes and the social impacts uh, uh, regarding, you know, sexting. So. Yeah, sexting and and cyber and cyberbullying. Yeah, and and it actually yeah. evolves into a lot, uh, a lot more other crimes. You know, like revenge pornography, distribution of child pornography. So, you know, we we want to more or less nip it at the bud before it gets to that point mm -hmm. by educating the students and parents regarding the dangers yeah. of sex. Now, Manny, you're also with the Guam Police yeah, Department. Yes, I am. So do, do you ever deal with the juvenile crimes that involve this cyberbullying and, and sexting? Uh, right now, I'm assigned to the Highway Patrol Division, mm -hmm. but uh, in my research for this project, I have uh, read some reports, and it's an issue on Guam. Uh, it's actually a pretty big issue, and it really needs to be addressed. Mm. Okay, I, I've seen reports where uh, certain images of students have gone viral in the schools. Mm. But, you know, uh, not too many people know about that. So yeah. that's, what we're, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to educate the people that, you know, this thing, can, this thing is happening and, you know, it can happen to your kids and we want to prevent that. Yeah. Talk to, Rachel, what is your role? What is your uh, interest in this project? How are you? Um, well, I'm a teacher at GDOE and so we want to make sure that we you know also reach out to the youth especially because they're the they're the ones who are often victimized and sometimes we want to make sure that they have what they need to you know get through any kind of hardships when it does come to sexting because if unforeseen circumstances arise they need to know that they're not alone and who they can reach out to and we want to offer that information to them as well. What uh, what grade do you teach? I teach third grade. Oh gosh, they're so cute at third they grade are. still, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, how what is the youngest this that we're we're talking about? What are the youngest of the victims? Uh, is it a middle school thing? Is it an age of development thing? You know, age of de uh, you know, sexual development thing? Usually it's the secondary students like the middle schoolers and high yeah. schoolers who are doing it to themselves or to each other. But there are cases with youth even at elementary level or younger that have been victimized by older um, either adults or young adults or even teenagers. Yeah. Talk to me about cyberbullying. I have a lot of questions about the sexting thing, but mm -hmm. cyberbullying, uh, that's, a, that's a crime in which mm -hmm. Uh, a person will get on social media. Is that it? To uh, to, to, yeah. to go after to yeah. attack some a victim. Uh, any any type of uh, a device where what they do, uh, they don't necessarily have to attack the person directly. What they do is they'll spread uh, information, negative information about a certain individual, uh, with the intentions of tainting their reputation or something like that. Or they can, uh, you know, 
attack the person directly on social uh, not just social media but you know uh, whatsapp or text or whatever you know just just to create some type of so it's uh, it's, it's like the, the you know bullying from the old days yes. but with electronics yeah. yes yes ah oh, yeah okay so and, and you know the the w with you know cyber bullying you know if people do it on uh, their electronic devices it can you know evolve to bullying in person when they see that person in school maybe then it becomes physical mm -hmm. this person starts suffering uh, depression because every time they go to school they're being bullied yeah you know and most bullies you know the the reason why they bully is because they have a they have some friends it's hard to be a bully if you're by yourself yeah okay yeah, yeah. but if you have a bunch of guys you behind got backup. you if yeah you got, if you got backup. backup it's easy to be a bully especially if the person you're bullying is by himself or is, is cyber bullying also a middle school thing or is yeah. it possible in elementary school because you, I mean, are you surprised at the number of children in the elementary school level that have these mm -hmm. this kind of they technology? Have, yes, they definitely have access to iPads yeah. and cell phones, and they know how to use them. And they'll tell you, like, oh, I saw this on Facebook. So they yeah. they definitely have that access, whether it's through them par their parents or on their own. They know how to use the technology. We, we want to make sure that they use it properly and safely. Yeah. Is there, in your research, did you guys find that cyberbullying is more... Uh, female prevalent or is it more male uh, or did you were you able to find those kind of stats in relation to sexting um, so teenagers about one in four teenagers nationally are involved in some form of, of sexting activity and so those who receive those sex they 20 percent of them actually whether it's to be funny or because they want to share something or revenge they 20% of those who receive texts actually send it out to more than one person. And so that's distribution of child pornography, which is illegal on, under federal law in all states. Yeah. So, but, yeah. but as far as the statistics, it's kind of even. It's, it's very, very uh, minor disparity, uh, like maybe a 1% or 2% only. But it, it, you know, it, it's not like more, more females are, are uh, committing cyberbullying than males. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's, is it prevalent among that age group then? What about sexting and cyberbullying among adults? I, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it happens, but uh, that wasn't the target group that we were okay. trying mm -hmm. to. Uh, because with adults, you know, it, it, it's too late to, to teach them something. <laughs> yeah. with, you know, with uh, elementary, middle schoolers, and high schoolers, you know, they're still young. They're still developing. We want to nip it in the bud, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and it's hard to, you know, it's, it's not like we can take a, an electronic device away from an adult. Yeah. Parents can do that to elementary, middle school, and high school students. Because well, you know, I mean, there, there, there have been cases. There was a U.S. senator that was, re, you know, lost his job because of, of something like yeah. that, yeah. Uh, sexting with people. But it, the, the idea, though, is the campaign is, is geared toward, yes. yeah. toward mm -hmm. uh, middle and high schoolers. Yes. Mm -hmm. how are, so how does that work? What's the campaign? How are you going to, uh, to get to these kids? What's the plan? For the, is it an education campaign? Is it, uh, it's an awareness campaign. So we, we have several deliverables that we're working on. And one of our main things, our focuses right now, is um, public service announcements. So we're working on short 30-second uh, PSAs that we want to get out either, we're working with the Lonnie Kate Task Force, okay. and they're working with GDOE to implement a curriculum on, you know, body boundaries, respecting yourself, and so we are going to use these PSAs and try and implement it also in that curriculum, which will be mandated um, next year in mm -hmm. September, next school year in September. And then we also want to reach out to the public as a whole, um, whether it's through commercials or um, any kind of airtime or even in the movie theaters with these PSAs. Yeah. What do the PSAs say? Uh, they, what's the message? Yeah, the, the message, uh, the format is, you know, it, it identifies that there is a problem. It identifies how, you know, how frequent it is. And it identifies the uh, circumstances, mm -hmm. consequences mm -hmm. of what could happen from, from uh, you know, these crimes. Then it, it, uh, it asks the parents, you know, please can you, uh, you need to educate your kids, be involved in their lives. Uh, don't let, and our uh, closing line is, don't let sin be the end. Because, you know, if a student takes a uh, sexually explicit picture of themselves and send it to somebody and it gets distributed, basically, you know, their, their life can be ruined. You know, mm -hmm. that person will be labeled if 
uh, you know, classmates or friends, family members see that, you know, yeah. that, that's going to create a social stigma. And yeah. also in the future, it might be harder for them to get a job or their perception will already, uh, our first perception of them might, will already be made when they meet a person. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's really difficult. I know that Guam feels like we're so f removed from some of the, mm -hmm. you know, the problems mm -hmm. that you see with this in the schools on the mainland, but really the, with this technology and social media has actually brought it closes the gap mm -hmm. in the distance, so are kids no are, exception. yeah. So kids are more exposed to the, some of these sophisticated ways, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But but do you find that the kids know that they're doing something wrong, or they or they or they had no idea that it was even a crime? That's one of our missions. Is we want to make sure that you know it's not something so common that kids think it's okay. We want to show them like, no, this is your body. It belongs to you and you only. You don't have to share things, whether you're peer pressured to do it or whether you feel like it's the only way that you're going to get friends or people to like you or date you. Yeah. We want them to know like, this is for you. So our, one of our messages to the kids is for them to know like, you can set your own boundaries for your body. And so, like you said, it, we're no exception here on Guam. And we, we really want to make sure that we eradicate this issue before it's too late for some yeah. people. Um, I want to get into some of that. Some of the now, some of the, 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 the intricate parts of, of this crime mm -hmm. and things that parents probably don't even know about mm -hmm. uh, what their kids are doing behind their closed mm -hmm. doors. Uh, we're talking about an anti-sexting and anti-cyberbullying campaign with the University of Guam's uh, MPA program. We'll come back after this break. Eat a little something. We'll be right back. Welcome back to uh, Something to Talk About. Lieutenant Manny Chong, Rachel uh, Flores in the studio with me today, the studio being King's Restaurant. Uh, we're talking about anti-sexting and we're talking about anti-cyberbullying, uh, which for a lot of people could be a very new topic. Uh, it's It's been around for a long time. There have been campaigns trying to educate mm -hmm. people. Uh, on Guam, do we... Is our legislation strong enough? Are our laws strong enough governing this illegal practice? Yeah. See, with sexting, the, the way the law is written, uh, sexting between minors is a status offense. Okay, that means you know only minors can commit that. Uh, if an adult, uh, if an adult, if an adult commits it, it's distribution of pornography. Okay, so the the but laws, if a minor does it, when, when minors do it to each other, and you know nobody. No adults uh, intercept that image or see it. You know they they committed uh, a status offense. Okay, now now if it's if an adult becomes involved and then you know turns it into the police department, you know what we do is we because the image was a minor, uh, that would be uh, a child uh, distribution of child pornography uh, type of uh, case, and uh, it'll be handled accordingly. When, when uh, with, with the cyberbullying, uh, it's a misdemeanor if people harass each other on social media. Then when adults distribute uh, images of, you know, yeah. minors, it's the child pornography distribution. It's a, it's a yeah. felony case. It's different. Yeah, yeah, first okay, so uh, that's got to change. It feels like it. It feels like it should be just as punishable, yeah. if not much mm -hmm. more serious. I mean, it should be as serious, don't you yeah, think? I, or I kind of I, I kind of understand the way the, the, it was written because, you know, if, if, if a 12 or 13 year old commits a sexting offense, they get caught and they, you know, especially if this is the first time they've ever done it, you know, they should be allowed a chance to reform. Sure, sure. Okay. You don't want to taint this or ruin this person's life. Right. You know, uh, don't, don't even give them a chance to reform and become a better uh, 
a citizen. Because right. you know, when we when we ruin a person's life, especially at a young age, then the government has to take care of that person because this yeah, guy well, cannot can cannot find a job yeah. uh, because of his label as a registered sex offender, and you know because of that he's going to have to seek assistance from the government. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I kind of understand that. You know, people always you know they they deserve second chances. Hopefully, they can. Reform. If not, then of course they're gonna have to uh, suffer the full brunt of the law. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go back for a second, just on the, just this practice of uh, sexting. I had Dr. Ellen Bez, you know, mm -hmm. uh, from the Rape Crisis Center, and we we, we were talking about uh, with Healing Hearts, by the way. Mm -hmm. She, we were talking about just that age group. I don't know what it was like for you in middle school, mm -hmm. but you know, I mean, there's modesty. I couldn't imagine. You know, st taking a photo of my mm -hmm, prepubescent, mm -hmm. you know, body parts and sending it off to mm -hmm. somebody for all to see. What's the attraction there? What, what is it? Oh, it, it when it when when a girl does it, for example, at a middle school age. Most, or I, if I not just been eating enough fruit loops to understand. <laughs> I, most of them do when they send it. Most um, sex are sent to their other, their significant other, whether it's their boyfriend or their girlfriend whether it's not their boyfriend or girlfriend asked for it or anything. But that's mostly the reason is because they want to share, they want to share that, that with their significant and other. And they're meaning it to be an intimate yes. sort of yes. Yes. gesture. Okay, so it gets out of hand Yes. because it's out there. I mean, mm -hmm. once you press send, you said. Mm -hmm. yes. So if the receiving party gets it mm -hmm. and then posts it or sends it or mm -hmm. if by accident, maybe by accident, or they do that intentionally. Yeah. Revengefully. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh revenge my. porn. Yeah, that, then they just distributed child pornography, which is yeah. first degree Okay, fun. so the girl breaks up with him and he goes, okay, I'll get you back. Yeah. Yes. Here's a picture of your yes. breasts. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay, well mm -hmm. then. And, and so when it's finally out there, everybody now knows mm -hmm. what this board, you know, eighth grader looks like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, yes. and so what is, the, what is, what is the action that you take against the guy who sprint, who, who sends, uh, who's presses send? Yeah, What's he just committed. He just committed child pornography, uh, distribution of child pornography. He will be, you know, depending on what what his age is, the first degree felony. If he's over 16, he's going to be treated as an adult. Okay. If he's under 16, the juvenile investigations uh, section will be involved. They will do their investigation, and uh, you know, uh, if they determine that this person needs to be confined, you know, that's that's. Uh, up to them. Yeah. It is so that it is so serious of a crime that these the punishment is is so serious. Yes. Yeah. It has the potential, like I've I've heard you say, that clearly has the potential to ruin a victim's mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. But it certainly has the potential to uh, to ruin the the defendant's life. Yes. yes. Because now you now you're in a system mm -hmm. of, a, of, of a sex offender registry. Yes. Which is, a, mm. which is a place that you are mm. going to constantly be identified yes. for the rest of your life. Is that right? That's true. That's true. And you know, uh, depending on what your level, you know, you cannot even live uh, yeah. in certain uh, locations because of uh, you know the uh, criteria as to where where you can live. Oh yeah, you could look at it and find out who is in your general area. Yeah. That mm -hmm. GPS mm -hmm. is a great thing. Mm -hmm. um, the, here, here's the other issue that we have with this kind of technology being so available, is that kids are also watching their, you know, people who they idolize in the media. Yeah. Let's just start with Kim Kardashian. You know, Kim Kardashian, as anybody would recognize, made an entire living based on her sex tape. Yes. So it's kind of like, how do you, you know, a kid sees that. That's mm -hmm. supposed to be somewhat of a and role okay. model. And it's okay. I mean, mm -hmm. you can make an entire living and live a Kardashian lifestyle if you did that. Mm -hmm. um, have, you, have you seen sex tapes, actual, not seen them, but have you, in your data and research, uh, are sex tapes a part of the problem? I, I, I've read a report where an actual sex act was sex act was recorded, mm -hmm. and among teenagers, among, among teenagers, and then it was distributed. Uh, yeah. Okay, so there 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 is a, a school where that that image is actually has actually gone viral. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, all right. Okay. It is what it is. And yes. you're, and mm -hmm. parents don't necessarily. You're finding also in the research mm -hmm. that parents don't know. Are, are they? Sometimes they don't know. Or a lot. What's scary is. We have stats saying we have 29 cases that have been recorded in the last three years here on Guam in the, in the court system of minors dealing with sexting. And seven of those minors have been tried as adults. 
And thinking about it, 29 cases, that doesn't really sound so much, but those are the only ones that have been reported. So either parents don't know, or maybe to protect their child, they don't want to report it. So it's, it, it's oh, hard to gosh. even gauge that. So how would you get parents you know, to pay attention? Is, you know, you're, are you basically saying, go through your kid's phone? I mean, if you're paying the bill, mm -hmm. it's like going through your kid's diary. Mm -hmm. Is it the same thing? Well, just being involved is a good step, like having yeah. those safety precautions. Like you can control what your kids watch on TV. You can control the same way you can control what they go through on their phone. But there's a lot of parents that have no yeah, idea what the technology that's is. What even we need sometime. to. Yeah, I mean, you have to brush up on what mm -hmm. is out there to make yourself available to mm -hmm. the possibility that your child may be a victim or even worse yet, yeah. you know, spreading things. Uh, let's go the cyber bullying route. Mm -hmm. That's that's a real dangerous one that that's caused kids to actually yeah. take their own lives yeah, yeah. nationally yeah. Yeah. There, there's uh, you know national uh, studies that show that you know uh, suicide from or you know uh, sexting uh, cyberbullying from sexting has led to depression and this depression has led to suicide mm -hmm. yeah. okay Guam doesn't have a survey and that is one of our goals is to create a survey to get statistics that is mm -hmm. uh, local, local, yeah. you know, it's uh, uh, just based on Guam uh, on on data, Guam data, because you, you oh, know, you mean on suicides, the cause no, no. of, oh, okay, as, as far Related. as the sexting, the cyberbullying, and everything, there, there's no surveys done as to how prevalent this issue is, is on the island. The law was written based on a national survey. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, you know, we we need to uh, create our own survey. Because you know we're we're what saying, is the impact of yeah, it on our yeah on our we, youth? we need to know how it affects the people here in Guam yeah the youth the Guam's yes. youth yes uh, yeah why why don't we have those kinds of I mean why don't we have that kind of information who's the keeper of that is the Guam Police Department no no okay. uh, uh, the, you know the it, it's a study and you know these surveys they, they, there's a lot of bureaucracy that uh, is involved because you mm -hmm. got to ask the right questions it's a very sensitive yeah, topic yeah, I see it's, it's so topic. you're talking about surveying kids or surveying parents or surveying young adults yeah. any of the yeah. Guam any of the any of, any of the relevant Guam mm -hmm. I mean, any the relevant groups yes. age yes. groups okay yeah. wow. It, it's it's a lot, yes. you know, it, mm -hmm. and something like this feels like it's uncontrollable mm -hmm. because it's so much out there and it's not tangible, right? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's out there. It's information yes. that's hard to to, to yep. wrestle, once you know. It reaches and, the cloud. Yeah, once no, it reaches the you cloud, can't really you can't gauge. Yeah, exactly. So, so how how do you? It's really the only tangible thing is whatever you can tell the kids and whatever you can tell parents. Yeah. You know, like, like getting back to the survey, you know. The, the reason why you know it, it's such a uh, it's such a long process is because we want to make sure that the people taking the survey are protected. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. identified. So that, that that's why the process is very long. And also, you know, we you know we we want to show that you know uh, Guam uh, has a problem. We want to show how prevalent it is because for us to uh, you know say that you know sexting is. Uh, is a problem and we should we need to take care of it you need numbers you know, we, we need numbers to back that up yeah. you know uh, with these numbers yeah. you know who knows maybe somebody a lawmaker uh, can create some type of legislation that's going to uh, you know uh, address this issue yeah. okay. well it's an election year Manny yes. it's an election year Rachel you can go after you use that as part of your campaign you yeah. can go and you know approach a lawmaker or something but uh, I, I like what you're doing. I can't wait to see the PSAs. We'll be glad to help you out with those. And if we see, and the movie theaters are a great place. It's oh, yes. the yeah. captive audience. They have nowhere to go. Yes. And they have to watch And they got to change the channel. And they got to change the channel. If you want to watch this movie, you're going to watch this PSA. Yes. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so oh, much. Thank, thank you. Very, no, it's great. I learned a lot. I, I, and I hope you learned a lot as well. Thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you soon on Something to Talk About.